that I've been eager to gather prayer partners, and I asked God to give me 120, and He gave me over 150. Mm-hmm. People who pray for me almost every day. Mm-hmm. And I, I bless them, and I thank God for them. But He convicted me that my career path that He has me on is no more significant than the career path of our doctors and our business people and our sales people and our professional teachers and homemakers and others. And I'm expecting to, them to pray for me, but I'm not praying for you. And I said, I repent today. And I commit myself, I want to pray for you, but you need to give me. And I said, I take out the piece of paper. We have little pads of paper in every bench in our church. And it says there, um, it's just really blank. It's got a little church logo. But I said, write on your name and the company you work for and your position, your job position. Write down your boss's name and the CEO or owner of your company if, if you're not the owner of the company. It was a holy moment. Mm-hmm. I said, now when we stand to sing, you come down and bring that down there and just make that a little altar where you're going to give that to God and declare your workplace holy to God. And you know your pastor is going to pray for your workplace. Every week I'm going to pray for you. Oh, I had no idea. Awesome. They flocked down. Mm-hmm. Well, the people were cheering. They were clapping in the prayer. Awesome. Now, that may happen in some churches. That doesn't happen. That's never happened in our church. Before. No, no. They were hooting. They were clapping. And they felt, you could feel what they were feeling. That, oh, I've been validated. I've been blessed. My pastor's blessed me. Wow. And we prayed about the 9 to 5 window. Oz Hillman's 9 to 5 window. We prayed. I mentioned that in the prayer. Oh, they loved it. They loved it. We're going to reach the 9 to 5 window, Pastor. Wow. It's good.